Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Working hard, trying to grow. <laughs> Knock me down. And you know you have a good breakfast and it just like makes you feel fantastic. And 20 grams of protein. We have a mouse in the house. There is a I just took off my glasses and now like everything is blurry. friends and welcome back to another weekly vlog it is monday morning it is 5 50 a.m i woke up at five got up got dressed did my normal morning routine stuff i just made some pre sweet strawberries so that it matched my outfit <laughs> for no reason because no one's gonna know oh i'm so cold i put the heater on but you know when you put the heater on and it's not warm yet it's just cold i'm such a sook <laughs> it's 12 degrees <laughs> I knew that I had heaps of stuff to get done today. I just want to get in, get in early. I think the gym is normally pretty quiet at 6 a.m., fingers crossed. I'm gonna go in. I think I'm doing a push session today. I haven't even looked. Oh. I'm doing pull. I was kind of keen for press, but that's fine. No, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Anyway, I'm gonna jam out to Taylor's version of Fearless on the way to the gym, because I'm not okay, I'm not well. And then go in, get sweaty, come home, have breakfast, and get into a bunch of work that I need to get done today. Lots of just sitting in front of my computer, I think. I need to go to a shop, I need to go to the post office, so like that'll be me getting out of the house, but for now, let's go to the gym. Currently, 10 to 9. Oh my gosh, I need to do this grocery haul really quickly. I went to the gym, I hit some back and buys. Honestly, it was a pretty slow, like, chill workout. I didn't go really crazy. I'm feeling pretty weak um, after my weekend away, but hit a couple of PBs, got in, got it done. I went for a quick little, like, 30 minute walk on the treadmill after just to get a couple of steps in. And then I just went to Woolworths and I have all of my groceries lying in front of me. I'll give you a quick little grocery haul. I honestly, like, don't know what I'm eating this week, so I kind of just grabbed a bunch of stuff that I knew that I will eat. Firstly, not food related things. I got some more things from MK Beauty. If you watch my last vlog, I picked up this foundation in a lighter shade. Why did I say it like that? <laughs> Loved it so much that I wanted a darker shade for when I do have a bit of fake tan on. As you can tell, my face doesn't match my neck. And then I got another brow gel as well from them because I am almost out of my current one and I love it so much. More not food related things. I got some body wash and I got some like toilet stuff for the downstairs toilet. Really fun, exciting stuff. On to the food. I got three lots of long life milk. I hate running out of milk. It just upsets me. So I like to have backups of everything. So I got long life skim, long life unsweetened sweetened almond milk. This one is super good and it's only 50 cals per serve. We'll take that. And then I haven't tried this before, but this is the Almond Breeze Almond Milk in Chocolate. This is 100 cals per serve, but as I mentioned last week, I've been loving putting chocolate milk in my smoothies. Oh, so good. So I picked up them. I also got another almond spread for my smoothies. I got some strawberries if I feel like having some oats this week or just as a snack. I got an avocado. I got some rice cakes. I also got another tub of the Tilly's ice cream. I feel like this is just an exact grocery haul of what I did last week, but this is so good. If you haven't tried it before, 10 out of 10 recommend. I actually love it too much. Like it hurts me. Like I could eat this whole tub in one sitting. And the whole tub is 320 cows, so it wouldn't even be the end of the world. Although it would be the end of the world, but you know what I mean. Mm -hmm -hmm. I also picked up some rice cakes. I haven't eaten rice cakes in so long, but on the weekend away with the girls, we bought some shredded chicken or pulled chicken. And we had this on a rack with some salad and I never tried it before. And honestly, I still don't really know how I feel about it, but it tastes really good. It's an easy way to get a little bit more protein in. So I'm thinking with a little bit of mayo. 
I'm thinking in my head, Cupy mayo, of course. I'll see how it goes, or even like avocado and chicken, like a toasty almost, but like rice cakes. I just wanna try have smaller meals, almost like snacks, but them still being pretty high in protein because I have such a high protein target. Anyway, I also got some bread. I got a little packet of Spud Light potatoes because I find I never really go through a full pack quick enough. I got a huge bunch of bananas and then another little one. This was the ripest one I could find and I wanted one for breakfast this morning. And then hopefully these just ripe very quickly because they were all really green. I got some iceberg lettuce, some frozen peas, corn, and capsicum, some chicken breast. I got a big bottle of Mountain Dew No Sugar, 10 out of 10. And then I also got two packs of my favorite kombucha. This is the Next Bar Watermelon Raspberry, and I love these. And every time I go to get them, there's never any left. So when I saw that there was a full shelf this morning, I got two. So I'm gonna quickly pack this all away. At 9 a.m., so in eight minutes, I'm going to try and buy tickets to, I don't know like what it's called, but like there's like a music venue in Brisbane having a Taylor Swift tonight where they just play Fearless, a new Taylor's version. I've already bought tickets and booked flights to go to Melbourne to go to this exact night with a few of my friends over there. But one of my friends from Melbourne was like, let's go to Brisbane. If you can get tickets, I'll be there. And I was like, look, okay, let's do it. I love Taylor Swift that much. And I just feel like it'd be such a fun night. So I'm going to try to buy tickets for that at nine. I have high hopes, but they will sell out very quickly. So I'm going to go on my laptop and buy them now. Pack this all away, have breakfast, and then get stuck into my work for the day. It's a good day. <laughs> for a bit. I'm getting so much work done. It's really good. It's just one of those days where like I don't want to interrupt myself working by like going and eating and cooking lunch and like doing my washing but I have been and it's really frustrating me. I'm up to Thursday for my weekly vlog which is honestly like a huge achievement if I do say so myself but I'm hungry and it's like an hour and a half past lunchtime so I'm gonna go make I think chicken rice and some veggies for lunch and then get back to editing and then I think I'm gonna go for a walk this afternoon as well. I'm only at... 8,900 steps, so I need another 4,000 at some point today. I did hang out some washing this morning as well, so I'll need to bring that in because the weather is a 10 out of 10, so it's all dry, which is incredible. I'm gonna go eat some lunch. I'm gonna put some Vampire Diaries on from Netflix and watch that while I cook. Happy th Thursday? <laughs> no, it's 
definitely Tuesday. It is currently 11.30 a.m. and I've had a really good morning so far. I had a PT session at 8 a.m. this morning. We did mainly hamstrings, a little bit of glutes. It was honestly really, really hard. Everything feels very heavy coming home from my weekend away. So I think it'll feel like this for a little while until I like find my groove again. But it was a very good session and then I jumped on his treadie for half an hour afterwards just to get a couple of steps in. I came home, I had breakfast. I actually had the yummiest breakfast ever. I had like a choc caramel smoothie and a piece of toast with some avocado on it and I just like somehow made it so locale and just tasted so good and you really have a good breakfast and it just like makes you feel fantastic <sighs> I just feel on top of the world I did a little bit of editing I did a couple of emails and then I just showered and I got ready I've chucked on this Gymshark adapt camo in a pink set this hasn't launched yet and I don't know when it is but as soon as I do I will be sure to let you know but it is so so cute if you've been around here for a while you know how much I love the adapt camo but I've put this on because I'm about to take a photo for naked harvest I've made some strawberry pre-workout and I'm gonna hold both of these products in my photo because it matches my outfit classic <laughs> there's no better feeling than matching your pre-workout to your outfit try and fight me but that's literally the only reason I got ready today like I washed my hair I haven't done anything to it I've just kind of like left it out because I can't be bothered um but I did my makeup and everything just with this one photo but kind of feel great about it I just rearranged the lounge room <laughs> I moved this table is normally kind of just like in the middle and I moved it off to the side chucked all the chairs everywhere I bought this plant ages ago and I've just been having it outside while I've been watering it <laughs> But I brought it inside. I mainly have had it outside because I can't find a pot big enough for it. So I haven't been able to put it inside and like water it. Anyway, I've brought it inside. I've got my little tripod here and I'm just going to get like that in the photo. Here's my plan. So here's the time lapse of me posing. Please cringe with me. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. It's 11 a.m. And firstly, sorry if you can hear. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. I just spoke so loudly. I have you sitting on my windowsill. There's a window directly behind you that was open and my neighbor just walked out and they definitely would have heard every single word I said. Fabulous. What I was gonna say is, so if you can hear my computer in the background, it sounds like it's an airplane about to take off, but it's because it is currently exporting a video, which is very exciting. It's my weekly vlog from last week and it's only 18 minutes long and I'm so sad. I feel like you guys really enjoy long vlogs and my longer vlogs do better, but I don't just like didn't pick up my camera much. I went away for the weekend and I really just enjoyed being away and not really filming everything. But I'm assuming already this weekly vlog is gonna be much longer. So I hope that this makes up for it. But it's 11 a.m. at this so far this morning. I went to the gym. I trained chest and shoulders. I walked a bit on the treadmill. I had a chocolate protein smoothie for breakfast. What's new? I showered. I was gonna say I got ready. I'm in a hoodie and soccer shorts because I have soccer training tonight. Very fun, exciting stuff. I wrote my to-do list for today. I've finished editing this vlog while this is exporting and compressing and uploading I'm gonna make my second meal for the day I'm currently just on my fitness pal like playing around with my meals for today I'm gonna try have four meals instead of three and try spread out my protein throughout the day try and make my life a little bit easier I'm lazy most of the time I just love having three meals but it's much easier to like hit your macros over the whole day of having four meals anyway it's not really important <laughs> I actually forgot to put it on my smoothie this morning but I bought this collagen from woman's best it's 20 cows per serve and 20 grams of protein. Are you kidding me? So I think I'm gonna mix this with some water and because it has no taste, I'm gonna mix it with some diet right to make it taste good. This is the fruit cocktail cordial, literally like zero cows. So I think I'm gonna snack on that while I get more work done later. But for now, I'm gonna have a coffee and my second meal. I'm trying to see if I can have avo on toast with an egg. If that's enough protein, I don't know. I just have to eat so much protein. Any 
anyway that is my thursday morning update i'm gonna get more work done i'm gonna do some laundry this afternoon i have to prep an instagram photo to go live tonight i have soccer training tonight and that's pretty much my plan for today i just said that's your thursday morning update i definitely meant wednesday Thursday. It is almost 11 a.m. and I've had a really nice morning so far. I went to the gym. I came home. I had the most incredible breakfast. I just had my like chopped protein smoothie and some avo toast with chicken and an egg and it's just so good. I had it yesterday. I had it again today. It's genuinely 10 out of 10. Like I just, I come home from the gym looking forward to eating so much. I jumped in the shower. I just got ready. I'm in like comfy clothes for the day because I'm just going to be staying at home editing all day. And even though I am in loungewear, I still feel put together because A, I do my makeup and B, because of the jewelry I've been wearing lately and I just quickly wanted to thank Jazz Handmade for sponsoring this portion of today's vlog. You guys might have seen me open a couple of packages from her but if you haven't heard of Jazz Handmade they sell fine jewelry for everyday wear. So they sell the little earrings I'm wearing right now and the rings as well. These rings have been a new addition to my life and I genuinely feel like they have changed my whole persona. Like I feel like a new woman who wears rings now. Like I feel incredible. Like I feel unstoppable. I also have never been able to find rings that fit my fingers. My fingers are large and in charge, all right? We're not gonna hide it, it's just a fact. And most of the time when I go into other jewelry stores, they just don't stock my size, so I have to pay like double the amount to get the ring resized so that it actually fits me. I went onto Jazz Handmade, I picked a couple of rings and I just chose the biggest size, which is a US 11, and they fit perfectly. Honestly, I could get a US 10 to fit the rest of my fingers, which I think I probably will in the future, but they're just so nice and dainty and I just feel like they match my earrings and just everything so nicely. They sell necklaces, bangles, earrings, charms, pendants, and most of the pieces are available in multiple different materials as well. So I wear sterling silver, but they also have solid gold, rose gold, and plated gold as well. Also, you might have noticed on these earrings, I have a little like flower cross thing on this earring, and then I have a little cloud on this earring. So I just have the little sleepers in my ears, and then I have just picked whichever charms I want. So you can just buy a heap of different charms and just mix and change them. They can be on your earrings, on your necklaces, which I just think is so fun. Obviously, you could buy two clouds and have just a matching set of earrings but I think it's so fun to mix and change them. All of Jazz Handmaid's pieces are also nickel free and hypoallergenic. I can never say hypoallergenic correctly. Anyway, that just makes Jazz Handmade perfect if you have sensitive skin or ears. But basically the moral of the story is that I'm obsessed with Jazz Handmade. I've been wearing them non-stop. I think they are just perfect for everyday wear and I just can't explain like how they make me feel. I'm wearing fun earrings. I have matching rings. Everything is just a 10 out of 10. <laughs> Jazz was also kind enough to give me a discount code. So if you did want to shop anything from Jazz Handmade, you can use the code GEORGIA10 and I'll have a link in my description box as well that will take you straight to the website. But now that I'm dressed and ready for the day, I'm going to get stuck into some work. I'm sitting in front of my calendar, my notebook, and my computer. I'm going to smash out a bunch of emails, work. I'm going to be at home all day. I don't have any plans today, which is kind of incredible. It's kind of my dream. <laughs> so that's my Thursday morning update. Honestly, I feel like you've seen enough of me just working at home in this vlog already, so I'll probably just chat to you tomorrow. Good morning, friends. Happy Friday. It is 6 a.m. I'm about to drive to PT. I'm going to shuffle Riley Hemson's playlist called Throw It Back Sis. It's the vibe to drive to PT this morning, I think. In a lot of my recent vlogs, I've been doing car jams, and you guys have been saying you really enjoy it so I'm gonna do another one this morning just for fun. I used to do these all the time and it's very hard to not get copyrighted so that's why I like cut and change doing the song so quickly and I will be fixing the Spotify link in my description box. A lot of you guys were saying that it wasn't working so I will update that for this video and hopefully it works. I'll link this playlist down below. I'll also link my Spotify account and my playlists. I don't think my playlists are that great. I kind of just like cue songs for the drive depending how long my drive is depending on the what I'm feeling like if I have a playlist on, I kind of just skip through a lot, but I'll link it all down below anyway, in case you're interested. Not me down. It looks so far away. It is. 
Oh, I know, it drags, that yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> Watch him shock. <laughs> Yeah, me too. So, I was actually, last time I saw you, I was jamming out in the car and then my car tripod fell off the window. It's like suction cup to the uh, thing and it fell off. I feel like it's never fallen off, has it? Um, no, it has before. If it's like oh. really hot or really cold, it oh. just like doesn't like suction well. And then I was obviously driving so I couldn't like put it back up. But I had PT this morning. I came home, had a shower, got ready. I actually like did my hair and makeup. For like I think the first time this week. Yeah, I feel like I felt really special having my hair and makeup. <laughs> really <laughs> special. Because Rachel and I just went out for coffee with Ellie and Connor. We just finished up. We got there at 11 and it is currently 3 p.m. and we've just left. That's four hours. Why did I not? In my head I was like, oh yeah, two hours. That's four hours. I'm starving. <laughs> I've had a protein smoothie and a piece of avo toast, which like sounds like a lot, but like that's like a, a third of my food for the day and it's 3 p.m. Well, Liam's gonna be finished work soon. I still have two meals for the whole day to eat and I go to bed at like 8 p.m. Anyway, of That's course, kind of all ideal. I'm thinking and talking about is food. Back loading. But I had such a great time. I feel like with internet friends, it's okay for you to catch up for four hours because you don't get to see them very often. And also we like choose our own schedule technically. Yeah, and we can just like take yeah. the morning off work if we need to. They're just such good quality gals. So yeah, it's 3 p.m. We're gonna drive home. I'm gonna go home and stuff my face with so much <laughs> I'm so hungry. She's like, I had a coffee Don't while we were dead. out. So, yeah, she really looks like she's gonna cross the road. Yeah, but she? I'm crossing the road. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really lovely day. I do have a little bit of work to get done this afternoon, but I'm not really worried about like working into the night because like, I've had pretty much the whole day off. Yeah, so. I kind of, that's how I mentally do it too. I'm like, if I go out for breakfast, then I'll just work a few hours later in, yeah. in the afternoon or in the and, night. And like, I don't have plans, plans tonight. tonight. Oh, we know where we are. Well, do you? You can drive me home? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very shiny. Goodbye.
Okay, you're really gonna have to ignore this lighting situation right now, but I went FaceTime to my friend Gemma. Say hello. <laughs> it's 8.45, she's been hanging out with me while I went to Bunnings because we have a mouse in the house and I'm pretty sure this mouse has lived here longer than I have. Like I think it was here when Rachel lived here and we just thought that it disappeared, but like that's not how mice work. So I'm just stressed. Anyway, it came out and like we all saw it. It ran on the fridge, terrified, ran at me. I axed myself on the kitchen bench. I have a bruise on my thigh. It was a traumatic experience. We put out two mouse traps and it took the stuff in the trap without getting trapped. So I went to Bunnings and I bought, this is my honest review of the rat sack catch and hold. <laughs> It says it catches up to four mice at a time. No touch, no chemicals, no escape. I'm scared to pick this up and there just be a mouse in it tomorrow. Like that's terrifying to me. But I thought it would be nice to like have a humane trap so I can like not kill it. I kind of feel bonded because like it's lived here for so long. But it is eating my food and that's not acceptable. Inside of the trap with a cotton bud, toothpick or other tool to mask your scent. Okay, so Gemma just told me that if the like bait you're putting in there has human scent on it, they're not going to go for it. Release mouse in desired locations. Slide the top back into the trap to close. Reuse as required. I hate that. I hate every part of this. Gemma, my actual fear is waking up tomorrow and there being four mice in here. <laughs> I'm going upstairs to my bathroom to get an ear cleaner. Um, comment down below if you call them cotton buds or ear cleaners. <laughs> my whole family calls it an ear cleaner. I don't have peanut butter, but I have... Almond butter. Are you I... vlogging, hunting a mouse? Yeah. Stop, I can't handle this. This is the almond butter. <laughs> Just see your head in the background. This is the almond butter. I'm going to put the lid on. I think I'm going to leave it in the middle of the kitchen floor. <laughs> Good morning, friends. Happy Saturday. It's 7.30. And you're just gonna have to ignore the way I look right now. I pretty much just woke up and I'm going into the kitchen to see if we caught the mouse and I'm so stressed. I really wish I looked better right now. I put the mouse trap in the very middle of the kitchen. I think I didn't catch it because I don't know why I'm giving you a whole backstory. I don't think I caught it because Gemma told me yesterday that if you like have your fingerprints and like human scent all over the trap, it's less likely to go in it. And I didn't realize until I touched the whole thing. So I wouldn't be surprised if we didn't catch him, but I would really love it if we did catch him. Him, Alex and I named him Jeffrey. Anyway. Damn it, it didn't work. That's really annoying. Now what? <laughs> I'm gonna make a protein smoothie for breakfast before I head to boot camp this morning because I get extra carbs today and I'm gonna take full advantage of that. <laughs> I'm about to go to bed so I just wanted to quickly end off this vlog. If you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will catch you in my next video in the very near future. Bye!